Christian Visual Arts, Creating Visuals for Teaching God's Word. Hello, my name is Dwayne Johnson. Having lived on this earth for 81 years, I found that man's attention span lasts about 7 to 10 minutes when viewing new information. I found that in the 40s and 50s, the Disney and Looney Tune cartoons were about 7 to 10 minutes long. Unless a person gains one's interest within 7 to 10 minutes, it will be turned off in one's mind. Therefore, this presentation on heart and soul is divided into three sections, each being about 10 to 15 minutes in length. In section one, we'll look at robots versus free will. We find there are two basic parts to man, the physical body or material part, and the unseen part, the immaterial part that we call the soul or heart of man. A French philosopher in 1596 through 1650 by the name of René Descartes, who is known as the father of modern Western philosophy, made the statement, I think, therefore I am. In this statement, he was declaring his awareness of self. He was declaring his knowledge of his own existence, which is the immaterial part of man, his soul. Jesus used parables or illustrations to help people understand his message. Bible scholars tell us that there are more than a hundred parables in the Bible. Some say there are as many as 200. To try and better understand the soul of man, have you ever thought about how a computer works? Now we know when you're making an analogy, not every area fits. When comparing a human to a computer, we find the blue areas are unique to each part. When man created the robot, he used computer software to control its movements. Man is now attempting to write code to give the robot artificial intelligence, to make decisions based on previous decisions made from previous software commands. We find the computer is made up of physical hardware, that is, the integrated circuits and printed circuit boards, which are the internal workings of the computer. Then there is the enclosure that houses all of the hardware. We saw in Genesis 2-7 that our physical bodies are made from the dust of the earth, and we have internal organs. In order for the computer to function, there must be a software program. The question is, where is man's software program located? Man's brain is his CPU, central processing unit. It is his onboard computer. We find if-then statements in software code. It is the result of cause and effect. In that if you do this, then that will happen. In computer terms, we find zero equals off, and one equals on. Man makes his own decisions, yet we must remember that we are a creation of God. When God created the first man, Adam, 
He did not make him as a robot that only responds to software commands. God gave man the ability to acquire and apply knowledge, what we call intelligence. Wisdom is the correct application of knowledge in making the right decision. Psalm 139 verse 14 reminds us, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Man must choose his own plan of action, yes or no. What will your decision be? Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Socrates, the Greek philosopher, said, One's wisdom is limited to an awareness of one's ignorance. What is your awareness of your ignorance? God has given us a copy of his software code for man. It is found in his notebook on life, which we know as the Bible. It is our decision to accept or reject his instructions. In Exodus 20, verses 1 through 17, we find 10 rules for man's behavior. All of our decisions will either agree or disagree with the Ten Commands. How have you written your software commands? Zero equals, don't tell me no, I'll do what I want to. Or is it one that equals, do as God commands and follow his instructions? When people see your attitude and actions, do they see a one or a zero. In Genesis 1.26, we read that man was made in the image of God. It is man's soul that is made in the image of God and has an eternal existence. The heart or soul of man has three elements. The first being self, which gives man the awareness of his being and where the decisions in life are made. It contains the CPU, the central processing unit. Man's nature is where the software code is stored. It is where the knowledge known as intelligence is stored. His nature controls emotions, attitudes, actions, and it enables him to reason. Now, Adam had a third element called the spirit, which communicated with God. In the last part of Genesis 2, 7, it says, and breathed into it man's physical body the breath of life, and man became a living person. The breath of life controls the physical functions of the body and provides the awareness of self, his soul. As the French philosopher René Descartes said, I think, therefore, I am. In part two, We'll start to look into how the three parts of the soul interact, resulting in one's attitude and actions. Mm -hmm.